In order to do well in their college courses, new students have to learn how to recognize and respond to their professor's expectations about how to do acceptable quality college work. In this video, successful college students tell us about how they had to learn the importance of understanding professors' expectations. I think it's really important for, um, for new students to understand what the professors are going to expect of them. The funniest thing happened to me, the teacher assigned this paper and the instructions was to write a two-page paper and I went home, wrote a two-page paper, came back and she's like, this is supposed to be typed and I just like look at her like, what are you talking about? Like, said written and, and it was like she did not expect that whatsoever and that was hard for me. I had a class where the professor wanted me to compare two films and sort of do a shot-by-shot -shot analysis and it was supposed to be two pages and I did it really succinctly and, um, and it was just a little short, just like an eighth of a page short, but I really thought that I captured what I was trying to say and I turned it in and I got my paper back and it said, excellent essay, excellent points, but too short, B minus. And I was distraught. I've found that understanding professors' expectations is the key to avoiding other problems. Understanding professors' expectations is one thing I think that's going to help students be successful. I know it helped me be successful um, making that transition from high school, you know, to college. I think that you know, that knowing that it's okay to talk to the professor, and knowing that it is um, that they're just like us, that it's a lot easier. To, to call them or stop by the office hour and just ask them questions to clarify. Not all professors are the same. They don't all have the same expectations. Some of them want you to write weekly papers and do quizzes and be able to regurgitate information. Are they going to have just one midterm and a test and that's your grade? Are you going to have papers? One might be very clear in what they want and give you a rubric and tell you specifically this is what I expect from you and others might not be as clear about it and just say you're writing a paper about this and then you're on your own. Now these same college students talk about some specific strategies that they use in recognizing and responding appropriately to their professor's expectations. They're sharing their experiences and offering these tips so that you will have an easier time making the transition to the university. We all have skills that we use every day in dealing with our teachers, our parents, and sports coaches. And so if you can take that and apply it to your relationship with your professor, it can help you understand their expectations and help you be successful in college. The greatest piece of advice I can tell you is to treat people how they want to be treated. You know that like with your mom or dad, you can get different things out of each of them based upon how you're asking. or who you're asking. And you really have to use that same exact thing with your professors. They all have a way that they want to be treated and you just have to do it and figure it out. It's not very hard. You know that you have the skills already. When you walk into the class that first day and when you meet your teacher, understand that this is a relationship that's going to have to work. This person has control over the grade that you get and all you want to do is be successful in that class. Professors can be intimidating and a little scary to go up and talk to at first, 
but one of the best things you can do to be successful in their class is just to go up and ask them. I mean, it really helped me understand that they have office hours set for a reason and understanding that on their syllabus they have guidelines and that's part of their expectations is to visit them if you have problems during their office hours and to follow up with them. It's important to communicate and you just use the same skills that you use to communicate with everybody else that you do with the professors. Sure, they've got these degrees, you know, many of them have many degrees and PhDs and, you know, they're really smart, but they're also people too. You can't read a professor's mind. You have to go and communicate with them and you can do that in a myriad of ways. You can go and meet with them during their office hours, through email, whatever way makes you feel the most comfortable and they will be delighted to talk to you. Lastly, I would say talk to other students about what the professor's expectations are. Maybe you've encountered other students that have taken this class or maybe students that seem to get the subject a lot easier than maybe you are. Another way besides approaching a professor when during my first year when I didn't feel comfortable is I would sit, I would section myself by students who looked like they had experience that they'd been at the school for maybe at least another term or that they looked more comfortable, more um, serene in their setting and, and I'd sit by them and ask them questions. We all know that as we've gone through elementary and high school that some kids have a better grip on some classes and some teachers than others do. So just make sure you get in touch with those students and you can tell who they are. Just get in touch with them, talk to them, and if you see that you can help other students, help them because we all have a common goal and that's to be successful.